last three days, we are listening from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20, and the Gospel of John, chapter 70. After Easter till Pentecost, we are going through the Acts of the Apostles and encountering the early Christian exuberant church and connected with our own personal life and the present church. And today's first reading we heard from St. Paul. The words he said, because he was going through in a very difficult time, we heard from the Bible. They just wanted to kill him. Literally, almost everyone was against him. And he himself might have thought, what's going on with me? Nobody is really understanding me. And I am standing in the name of Jesus for the greater glory of God. But look, what's going on with me? A lot of messiness, a lot of uncertainties. But the following night, not, the, not, the, not immediately, the Lord stood by him, appeared to him and said, My son, be courageous. As you have witnessed about me at Jerusalem, now you have to witness me in Rome. Very powerful words. Be courageous. Our Lord is always constantly speaking to us. What the Lord is speaking to us, you and me, be courageous. Don't ever be afraid because courage is divine. It comes from God. When Pope John Paul II became the Pope, he started with that beautiful words. Do not be afraid. Be courageous. Only a spiritual person can be truly courageous, joyful, because the Lord has not given us the spirit of timidity, but the spirit of courage. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 6 to 8, St. Paul says, There are times in our life, in our practical life, we also may go through a lot of struggles. There are times we may think, and nobody is really understanding me. Maybe own husband or wife or children or in the community or our boss or whatever it is. Something we need to remember. Every human person has got an inevitable limit. But God is the one who only truly knows us. And he is the infinite horizon of our life. The more we know him, the more we will understand. However, as a human person, we also need a push. There are times we need encouragement. God exactly knew at that particular time St. Paul needed that's why he stood with him and said, be courageous. And God speaks in our life sometimes through words, means through word of God, and sometimes through our close friends, and even sometimes through our enemies. Keep going. I experienced several times in my life one occasion I remember I was going through a very, very difficult time. 
And I was, I just met one, I was not a priest at that time, I just met one Archbishop, famous one person, the first time I met him. And I spent a uh, few hours with him, with, along with many other people. But while I was leaving, and he just called me and he just uh, put his hand on my shoulder, just whispered to me and said, Brillis, keep going. I can see the hand of God. I didn't share anything with him. And I felt a tremendous strength. And there are times come that love and strength comes in a different way. I remember one funny thing, you know, it, it always, I'm very emotional when I think about it. You know, once uh, I just visited my house, I was not in my house, and my mom had a dog, and I used to always complain her, why do you want to look after all these dogs? It's very difficult. And I was visiting my house after a long time, then, um, but at that time, I was going through a very, very difficult time. I was facing big problems. Then I was really sad and I was just, as soon as I came and I was sitting in front of my house, just this dog came, just sat near me. And I don't know, I know there are no words, whenever I think about it, you know, only the first, you know, after a few months that dog died, the first time I cried, <laughs> when a dog died, the way that dog encouraged me was tremendous, which I cannot forget. So God can use any means to encourage us. Silently, loudly, gently, He is always speaking to us, be courageous. Do not be afraid. Keep going. The seminary I was studying, the first year was so difficult. I was almost like in a going through in a depressing state. I remember one, one guy from Australia, he's a priest now, he's a, he's a very funny guy. I was always walking with a big pain and, uh, and this guy used to come and say, Brilliant! Full power, full power, keep going, keep going. And this was, uh, you know, in front of many people, you know, he was a funny guy, but I know how much that strengthened me. Keep going. And every time when we come to the Mass, every time when we hear the Word of God, every time we meet our good friends, the Lord is working through them and speaking to us, my child, keep going. Be courageous. I am with you. That's a wonderful message for all of us to take from the first reading and the gospel. It's wonderful gospel. God wants, Jesus wants all of us to see and experience the glory he has. So therefore during this mass we can pray for the grace to Renew our willingness to serve God courageously, joyfully, with conviction, with eagerness, so that our God will be always with us, guide us, and constantly encourage us in many ways. My child, I am with you. Do not ever be afraid.